So with this one, I'm trying to use the DC70, um, DC706 to read the emo data on VW ECU, which is for Jetta. So I'm reading the EEPROM after selecting the emo data. So if you select the emo data, the emo data will read the EEPROM and the flash. So it's now reading the EEPROM. So I wait for it to read the EEPROM so that I can get the PIN code and the CS number and the mark number so um it's almost done with the eprom then i'll save it um i'll, I'll save it this jetta 209 so that i can it will also read the flash so it does it automatically so the moment you click on the read emo data it does it automatically then it will read the flash and the eprom for you so you save it and now after that, it is going to read the flash. So now that it's done with the EEPROM, I'll wait for it to get another security and it's now going to read the flash. This ME 17.5.6. I've not tried the other ones yet, but so far as this function is in it, I'm trying to see. So it's reading the flash automatically without um, any command again. So when you, when you do that you have to save the files so if you like you can do that without doing the read prom and read flash so i'll wait for it to save all those data and it will read all the 16 sec text so you have to be patient a bit and because the flash is huge it's around two megabytes so it takes a little bit time like two to three minutes for it to be done so i wait for it to finish reading that data then it will decode it for me without doing anything so the flash will take my time so i'm trying to see how best i can to bring the comparison video of the this uh, dc708 and the exhaust just that i want to try those two machines and see some of their weakness before i do the comparison video so with this one i'll wait for it to it looks like it's almost done it's left with one sector then it to be done because it's now 15 by 16 so it's left with the last sector so that it to be done so you can subscribe to our channel for more videos on this ECU journey so that we do it together and you'll be prompted anytime a new video is out so we wait for it to finish then need to decode the red data for us then to give us the details we need. So now it is reading the 16th sector. Then from there, when it is done, we do. So after this, um, I think the dc706 that does not have much issues i think now it does 1100 issues and most of the time you know it's not all the issues that it says it does that it does so what i'm doing is i'm saving this flash data also then after saving it the machine itself will decode the e uh, will decode the emo data for me so this one it makes key programming easy sometimes when you use auto auto require you to read emo data so if you have the emo data like this and it's now decoding it if you have the emo data you can easily program key for the vehicle so you can see the v number the pin code the cx number which is script uh, component security then the mac id so these are the important things that you need when programming a vehicle on vw and audi
so you can see it is written down there but now i'm trying the mileage and this vehicle's mileage are not stored in the ecu so it's not going to work so after this so anytime it con it connects it writes the boots so that i can get access in reading the eprom or the flash you have to let it connect to the um you have to let it connect uh, to write the boots it's like bypassing the system and when you are using this software uh, sorry this device yeah, it's a software also so when you are using this device you have to make sure you have a stable internet or else it might affect your reading or something so i'll just cancel it and i'll show you the other way also for reading emo data so <coughs> we wait for it to move from that state then you go to emo uh, decryption <coughs> so at emo uh, decryption you select the files which you are going to select the saved file from the um, read emo data so we save the flash then we say we load also the eprom so we load also the eprom so that we can be able to i'm just verifying that i'm selecting the right files so also verify to see i'm selecting the right files for the eprom you click on ok and it automatically decode it for you so when you have the files read already you can easily do this decoding so that it, it helps you out but one on one that means you want to clone you you input it into the data but now i don't have any of the eproms to clone like i'll do the one-on-one -on -one cloning internal eprom cloning so it just changes one or two emo data in the new ecu file that you have so this is how easy it is when using this to do to read emo data and do other calibration thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so after this all you need to do is disconnect it